Welcome back to another Nate and Tech vlog. This is vlog number seven, I believe. If it's incorrect, I will post the correct number below. Got a big update today. I got my Creality uh, 3D, it's a CR-10S printer, 3D printer. Uh, so I can get prototyping and stuff done a lot faster instead of sending it to my buddy that lives about 15, 20 minutes away and waiting for him to have time to get around to them. Uh, so anyway, we're going to go ahead and unbox this on the vlog. I might probably do a time lapse. You guys want to watch the whole thing. Get it set up. We're going to set it up right here on the bench. So while I do other vlogs and stuff like that, you'll probably end up seeing that going, which will be kind of interesting. You guys can kind of see where the prototypes and stuff are at. I might even eventually set up a webcam on it and kind of do some live streaming to you guys if I'm working on a nice big uh, prototype or whatever, you guys can kind of follow that as well. So anyway, let's go ahead and get this thing unboxed and see if we can get it going. My daughter's been extremely excited to get this as well because she wants me to print out a couple little things for her barbie house and whatnot. So anyway, she's going to be helping me unpack this and get it set up. So this is the bed. This has a 12, or just under a 12 by 12 by 15 print area. Guys, more millimeter, 300 by 300 by 400 millimeter print area. So I can put some pretty large uh, 3D print jobs on this guy. Here's the new control module. They updated the control button here and it's got all really nice like braided cables and an LCD screen on there. There is some assembly required on this. You get the base and then you've got the, the upper arm, the Z-axis. Uh, upper arm that we have to attach onto it and then of course plug everything in. So we're going to go ahead and get into that. I'm going to move the camera a little bit. So actually my biggest worry was that this was actually going to fit in the area that I have it in here so we get a better angle on where we're working. And there's a little bit of plastic in it too. Yeah, take the plastic off. Yeah, we have to take the plastic off. So this actually barely fits. This is a two foot deep bench and I probably have I mean, about a finger's width palm width back here and it comes right out to the front. So we're going to be sitting fairly tight right here, but I think it's going to work excellent. So one thing I've heard on these is these have a little bit of play up and down. I don't know if you can see that in camera or not but a couple of the, the screws underneath actually have to be tightened up. So we're going to do that real quick. It does come with a bunch of tools. This is one of the upgrades from the CR10 to the CR10S. This is a sensor. Uh, it's for, uh, it detects when your filament is out or low, I believe. A little scraper to scrape the things off of your projects off of the glass once it's done. This does come with a micro SD card. I actually do not know what size. Eight gig, which should be plenty for pretty much any of the jobs that, that we'll be doing. A small spool of white uh, PLA. And I did get a full one kilogram spool of black PLA from Hatchbox. These are the arms that hold uh, the Z axis on here. Looks like there's also a sensor. My guess is. Um, the bottom out sensor and then 
looks like the filament uh, cord here. Is this sharp? Okay, I think I got the bed straight near the bed. Has I mean, a little play, but I gotta really push on it. That could also be the springs underneath. So I got that tightened up, so it's nice and stiff. Should be pretty level, or doesn't have any play in it. And it looks like it's time to start hooking everything up. Okay, moment of truth. Got everything, as far as I can tell, hooked up. Got a roll of PLA available. I'm gonna go ahead and peel off screen protector. Now it's official. Okay, I think I got the bed level. So I'm gonna go ahead and see if I can find an STL file. Uh, we're gonna try to print like a little uh, dog for her if I can find one, just something simple and see if we can get this going. Well, I've got it pretty much dialed in. Went ahead and started printing one of the EF dual cup holders. It is about 70% done. Uh, if you actually wanna look at the specs over here on this guy. So it has been going for almost 16 hours. It's 71% done. So these do take quite a while. I think this one said it was about 19 hours, 19 to 20 hours to completely complete. So I'm gonna need decent lighting on this for you guys so you can see. So we're pretty much building the top right there and the cups. That's pretty much all that's left. Definitely takes a while. Started this about 10 o'clock last night and it is about noon today, so got about three or four more hours. So now that I've got the printer set up and I can start printing things there, I'm gonna go ahead and just start busting out dual cup holders as quick as we can. Those are the ones that are taking a little bit longer. Uh, as I said, they take about 20 to 25 hours to print, so I can only get about one done a day. My buddy has two printers, so he's gonna be doing two of those a day, so we should be hopefully caught up with all of the dual cup holders this week. Uh, he does have two smaller printers that can't print the dual cup holders, so we've been starting on getting the single cup holders done. He's been busting these out two at a time. Actually, he can print four, two on each printer, so four at a time. Um, and they print, they don't, obviously don't take as much time to print. So I've got four of these guys to start shipping this week. I've got one, uh, and one of mine finishes here in a couple hours. I'll have two to ship out, and I'll be picking them up every about day or two from him. So we should be caught up with, I'm hoping having all of the, the pre-orders and the current orders caught up within about the next week uh, to, to get out to all you guys. Uh, one update I wanted to let you guys know on, on a prototype, I have been working on the coin holder replacement one. It's going to use the same or a very, very close version of this. I, I got to check some of the mounting locations and stuff, but it looks like the holes will line up the same. I, I have one couple little tweaks I want to do on this. I'll explain that here. So my plan is, is I've, I took the cup holder and mirrored, uh, let's see actually. Let's see. So the coin holder, got your coin holder and it mounts in the car about like so. The coin holder or the cup holder mounts right you know about the same same area so all I basically have to do is go from about here down to this to this other mount hole here so I built a test piece this is when I first pieces with my printer and I've mirrored it it's a lot harder to line up with the camera than you would expect so anyway I've mirrored it and it comes up somewhere right around here. I'm hoping it lines up really close for what would happen if this is mounted like so. This is gonna kinda butt up to the bottom and mount there. My idea is to actually have this overlap and then have a couple notches on the bottom of this that will actually go inside the holes here and line everything up as well as cover these holes so you don't see them in the car. Even though they kind of are on the underside, kind of want to make it look a little bit nicer. So that's my plan with this. I just got to test fit, make sure that all my angles and stuff are correct here and it 
you know it's not perfectly straight it's got a couple little notches cut out angles and whatnot and all these different spots so once I make sure this is right and I'll get a couple more measurements so I can make this overlap and line up with these holes and cover everything up and then the coin holders will be pretty much ready to go I'll start shipping those out as soon as I get caught up on everything else if you guys have any questions make sure you post them below make sure you hit that subscribe button ring that bell so you guys get updates anytime I put out a vlog or a new video and uh, we'll see you next time.